All right, we're between Blaz and Kentuck at the end of Route 717 on Bill Rogers' farm. And if you look at the geology map of Virginia, and particularly that part that covers Pennsylvania County, there's a kind of a conspicuous oak crop mapped on the map that's called ultramafic or ultramafic rock. And it's really interesting because the rock is olivine amphibole chloride. And there's some debate as to whether it was more or less uh, a metamorphic rock or whether it's actually igneous. But if you notice the edges of some of the deposits, you will see that it tends to grade more or less from igneous into a metamorphic shell around the exposure. And down here is a typical specimen or exposure, and this whole hillside is humped with this. Now this has the reputation of having been a deep-seated crystallization, way down deep, much deeper usually than granites are formed, mainly because now you find uh, it's called ultramafic or ultramafic because it has very little or no quartz, but all dark minerals, and it has olivine which if any of you all have studied the Bowen series, you know that that's one of the earliest farming minerals from magma. So it's really a neat site, and uh, the, the person that owns the property, it says, Mr. Rogers says, you're welcome out here as long as you don't burn anything up, or something like that. So for a really good, relatively rare, really ancient rock, uh, uh, geologically, historically, I mean, geologically, it's quite old. It's in one of the oldest parts of the whole Piedmont in Virginia. And it's an ultramafic or ultramafic rock. It doesn't really have any uh, specific name, but uh, uh, Heineke, who did the geology of this area, has it classed as, like I said, uh, of a, or just he just calls it ultramafic but the olivine in it makes it unique. Something I forgot to mention in this oak crop of this ultramafic rock is that some of the books put it in a larger category called peridotite. And maybe in your book that you're using, this would be classed as a type of peridotite. And like I said, it has olivine in it, and it has amphibole, probably horn blend, and then chloride. Some of it has a schisto structure on the edges, but in the centers and all, it looks very much like it's igneous rather than a metamorphic rock.